could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach every Hello everyone and welcome back When I woke up in the morning today the weather was awesome over here It was actually required since from last couple of days it was very hot I wanted to enjoy and give some me time before starting my household chores and getting into the kitchen. I think when you start your day giving some me time to yourself your entire day goes very productive. So I did that only. Since in the second half of the day we have to go out so there is not too much to prepare today. I wanted to make something special for my son for lunch since he has been asking for his favorite meal from last couple of days. I started my kitchen work by soaking some rajma in water early morning in some hot water and now after dipping it into water for at least half an hour I will be giving it at least two whistles and rest of the whistle I would be giving it with some pulses. By the time my rajma is uh, getting boiled I will arrange the utensils that I washed last night and start clearing my kitchen slowly and gradually Once that is done I have to make some instant chili pickle that was finished from last couple of days In a pan I would be adding some jeera some sauce some mustard seed and some fenugreek seed and i would be dry roasting them when these get dry roasted i will take it out in a plate and let it cool down for some time one day before i have washed all my chilies and i have chopped them in big chunks in the meal while i have given two whistles to my rajma and they are par boiled now To this I will add my black pulses I will wash my black pulses very thoroughly and I will add this to it and add some water along with it with some salt and again I will give it a whistle for at least 4 to 5 whistles In the meanwhile I will be doing the other preparation Now my whole spices got cooled down and I will grind them up I will not do grinding too much. I will slightly leave on a chunky side. To this, I would be adding some hing, some turmeric powder, and mustard oil. I would be adding two spoons of mustard oil in it. There are two ways of adding some oil. One is to add it directly and one is to burn this mustard oil and then add it i like to add it directly which give a good taste while having this pickle then i would be adding all my chilies to it and bind them up properly once it start getting bind up i will quickly add some salt to it and a 1 tablespoon of vinegar and again bind them up properly Now my instant chili pickle is all set to go into the jar. This is one of the best pickle that we love to enjoy with every meal. Since it's a hot weather, I will quickly mix them up in a jar and keep it aside at least for half a day and then I would keep it in a refrigerator. Now My dal is also boiled. I will open it and cook it again for some time. I bought some pantry since we do not require pantry in the beginning of the month. And now I was placing them up along with my kitchen work. I used to always wonder how the restaurant people make dal makhani and they some come out to be so yummy. So out of the curious box, I decided to meet one of the chef in one of the restaurant while enjoying it. He told me that while we are boiling the dal make sure whatever residue comes on top we need to remove that because it has a bitter taste and due to which the taste of dal makhani does not come out so intact in a meanwhile my dal was getting boiled i will quickly arrange both my room and change the bed sheet as well as pillow cover as i said today 
my son and my husband they both have gone out for playing cricket and since they have a match so they would be coming late from the match and would be there by the lunch time only since today i am making some restaurant style lunch i would be quickly making some paneer dish as well in a pan i would be taking some mustard oil some jeera some garlic some roughly chopped onion some tomatoes and one chili along with that and allow it to cook for some time by the time this get cool down i would be quickly taking some roughly chopped tomatoes and some green chili and i would grind them up for dal makhani once tomatoes and onion get cool down i will grind them up as well and make it in a fine paste in a pan i would be taking some butter and i would be adding my onions to it and i would be sorting it till the time they change their color once they change to pinkish i would take them out in a same pan i would be adding some oil some hing some kasturi methi ginger garlic paste and after 2 to 3 minute i would add my puree to it i would allow the puree to be cooked in pan for some time and then i would be adding all the necessary spices that is required and again allow it to cook and then i would be adding little bit of water so that it has a slightly flowing as well as a binding consistency then i would add my onion as well as my paneer to it and bind everything well once everything get completely bind up i will add salt as per our taste and in the end i would be taking some fresh cream and add to it once the fresh cream is been added and it is binded together i will take this out in a bowl and in the end i would be taking some dry kasturi methi crush it in my hand and spread it all over the bowl two things firstly it give a good flavor secondly it look absolutely awesome in the same pan i would be taking some butter and then i would be adding my ginger garlic paste and my kashmiri lal mirch when we add kashmiri lal mirch it automatically brings up the color of dal makhani then i would be adding my tomato puree and add little bit of dal to it to have a good consistency and a good flavor and allow it to cook for some time once everything is added together and cooked properly i will take this out in a bowl as well to this also i would be adding some crushed kasturi methi to enhance the flavor and to look good this entire process of making two different dishes and doing some kitchen chores along with some cleaning of my room entirely took 2 hours in the morning since i was working at peace and no one was there to call out my name mama i want this or i'm looking for this <laughs> to be very honest i was on a peace of mind and i was doing my household chores i have been looking up for good and a beautiful fridge cover and i recently found this in amazon i quickly purchased it and i am super duper happy to have this whether we are working or whether we are homemaker we also need some motivation when we are in or around the house so to keep my motivation on and to keep my power intact and always ready to help myself as well as my family with different kind of thing i was looking up for some different coaches that could easily help me or always be there nearby me when i am in the house now my bed feels just like cobblestone oh since kitchen is the heart of every home and we could easily find ourselves nearby kitchen so this is the best place that i could find myself where i could place them up 
whether i am in and out it would be always in my eyes and this always will keep me motivated and charged i have been noticing these black mark near my switchboard and it was irritating me a lot so to look for a better option i found out this magic eraser this magic eraser as the word says it works wonder on this since this was my first attempt and i was super duper happy with the result without any effort and without harming my wall i could easily remove the marks i have in fact remove all the black marks nearby my switchboard and now you can see they are absolutely looking neat and clean as if nothing was there after completing some of the most effective task in doing some important cleaning that was always there on my mind now the another thing was to make some chapatis but when we go into a restaurant and we take some north indian food we always look forward to have some tandoori roti so along with my restaurant style dal makhani and paneer do pyaza i would be making some tandoori roti today many of you would be making tandoori rotis at home and many of us have a different methods of making and it might be possible the way i make many of you make it in the same way but i learned it from one of my husband's friends mother who was cooking it for us when we first went to her house after marriage she taught me the easiest and the fastest method of making this until date i have been following it like anything i really enjoy making it and i really enjoy having it small size chapati and add all the required spices like red chili powder or ajwain and salt and once i have made my chapati ready i will top it along with some pudina powder and some ajwain to give a good flavor to it the most important step was this once i have made it i will turn the chapati upside down and add a water to it so that when i stick it to my cooker it should not stick to it after that for a little bit time it will get stick to it and once it gets start cooking it will automatically start releasing over here we need to be little caution about it since we cannot ignore that we are making it on a gas stove and once it gets slightly cook it will automatically come down my husband enjoy this roti along with some restaurant style dal makhani and paneer since today he would be enjoying it alone because i have been cooking it in the kitchen and making a fresh hot tandoori roti for him and my son was in a no mood to have it right now but i must tell you this is amazing you should also try and do let me know in the comment section in the evening dhruv and i enjoyed both watching some movies as this was our favorite part of the day That's all from my end. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and do share it with your friends and families. Till then, take care.